Strike three, my years in the pen, is a story of the top strikeout staff in the history of the American League. The Cleveland Indians pitching staff of 1964 was the first pitching staff to strike out 1,100 or more batters in a single season. In fact, they would go on to strike out 1,100 batters and lead the American League in strikeouts for five consecutive years, and that's a record that's not since been broken. Uh, this pitching staff would also be the first to a average seven batters uh, per nine innings struck out in 1964. In fact, over these five years, they would average more than seven batters per nine innings struck out. Uh, and in the history of the American League, there's only seven clubs that have averaged seven batters struck out per nine innings. Of those seven clubs, it's only the Indians that have averaged more than one strikeout per nine innings, uh, more than the rest of the American League. In fact, the Indians struck out 15% more than the uh, team uh, in second place on that list. So you can see, indeed, this was a superlative strikeout pitching staff. In fact, they set the single season strikeout record in 1967 with 1,189 strikeouts. And that record wouldn't be broken for 30 years until 1997 uh, by the Seattle Mariners in the age of steroids, the era, steroid era. Uh, and in fact, that's the year before Mark McGuire broke Roger Maris's single season home run record. The uh, Indians pitching staff over these five years was led by the big three, Sudden Sam McDowell, Sonny Siebert, and Louis Tiant. In fact, uh, Sudden Sam McDowell uh, was and remains the youngest left-hand pitcher to strike out nine batters per nine innings in 1965 at age 22. Uh, in fact, that year he was also the youngest left-hand pitcher to strike out uh, over 301 batters in a single season. Sudden Sam and Sonny would be the first starting pitcher duo with sufficient innings and, and starts uh, to consider to both average nine batters per nine innings struck out in 1965. That feat would be duplicated by Sudden Sam and Louis Tiant in 1967 and 1968. In fact, they remain the only, two, you know, the only duo, the only two pitchers, the only two teammates to ever accomplish that feat. Uh, the feat of striking out uh, two pitchers, two starters, striking out nine batters per nine innings has only been reproduced once in the ensuing 42 years after 1968. The uh, strike three is also a story of the bullpen uh, and uh, bullpen catchers as the practices evolved in the post-war era from 1946 to 2010. In fact, there's lists of all the bullpen catchers in the American League and the bullpen coaches, uh, in, excuse me, in Major League Baseball, in both leagues, in fact, with uh, stories about many of them and comments from some of them. Um, there's a list of the locations of bullpens and bullpen characteristics, the nooks, the crannies, um, in, the, in the book as well. Uh, Strike Three even has a chapter of the bullpen catcher's glove, the popper, and some interesting stories about the glove and how it came into use and uh, um, the many uh, pictures that it caught. Strike three is finally a story of the bullpen catcher author himself, me, and uh, a story of a resolution of conflict in uh, the decision-making process between a career in medicine and a career in baseball and the course of events that uh, led to the final resolution of uh, uh, that decision-making process.